Hey everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. <laughs> wow, that felt weird to not say an episode number there, because this is a bonus video. Yay, let's jump around, jump around, jump around, jump up, and get down. Alright, yes, I'm very excited to be recording this, because in this video, we are going to be fighting the great bad purple guy himself, Qlex. Oh yeah. He's just behind this door, but before I go in there and fight, and fight him, I'm just going to go ahead and debrief you on my stats and stuff here. As you can see, I've grinded everyone up to level 30. Um, yeah, there's really no big secret to grinding up to level 30, which is the max level, by the way. I just kind of fought Yurovich clones in the factory. That's how I did that. Well, I guess machine made Yurovich. Um, equips and stuff. I have Mario with the Lazy. Mario has his usual stuff. Uh, Mallow has his usual stuff. He has the safety ring. I don't know if he's always had that. And I gave Bowser the Jinx belt just... Just because, because I think it's cool that Bowser can wear a belt. That would be, that would look so awesome. Someone should make fan art of that. And yeah, I actually am using Mario, Mallow, and Bowser in this fight. Believe it or not, because most people use like the trio of Mario, Gino, and Peach, because that is without a doubt the best of the the best three characters you could use in this fight. But you know, I like to switch it up. Plus, I really, I really didn't show off Mallow and Bowser at all in my LP, except when I had to. And items and stuff here, I got a few pick-me-ups, a bunch of red essences, a bunch of Kira Kira Colas, earlier times, uh, rock candies, and all this good stuff. You know, all the stuff that you need when fighting the biggest, baddest brute in the universe. So, let's go ahead and check it out. Check the door. It's been sealed. Uh-oh. Look, the shiny stone is reacting! And it breaks the glue, and we can just walk right in. Oh, man. Jeez, looks like someone threw up a bunch of pixels. Greetings! I am Qlex, Dark Knight of Wanda. I have crossed into this dimension to fight for the Dark Mage. But this world is uninhabitable for me and my kind. I must return to my own world. Before I go, though, I would like to challenge your strongest knight. Will you accept my challenge? Will you enter combat against me? <laughs> well, I don't really have much of a choice. Let's go. Unguard! And we enter battle with Qlex. I am matter. I am antimatter. I can see your past. I can see your future. I consume time. And I will consume you! <laughs> That's gonna be the strangest voice I've ever come up with for anything. Anyways, yes, yeah, so this is Qlex and his four elemental crystals. Yeah, there are five enemies, so. Whenever they get a turn to attack, they get five turns to attack, and they're all pretty powerful. So, be careful in this fight, definitely. Be prepared. And, trust me, even though I'm at level 30, it's still pretty tough. Alright, so let's just go over this here. Qlex, he has 4,096 HP and no weaknesses. The Wind Crystal, I think it has 800 HP, and uh, it's weak to jump. Earth Crystal has... um. 3200 HP and is weak to nothing. Uh, the water crystal has. What does it have? 2500, I think, HP? I'm not looking at my god for this, that's why I'm kind of confused on it. And um, it's weak to fire. And the fire crystal is. I think it has 1800 HP, don't quote me on that. I'm not. That's the one I'm least sure about, honestly. And it's weak to ice and apparently thunder, but it, from practice runs, I don't think that's true. Anyways, let's just, now that all the formal stuff is out of the way, let's get right into the battle here. Let's go ahead and super jump this thing, the Wind Crystal, because it is definitely by far the weakest, so you should probably take it out right away. Plus it has like one attack that can turn you into a mushroom and put you to sleep all at the same time. It's really scary. Ooh, 500 damage, wow. Okay, Bowser, what do you have? I've never really showed off any of his moves here. Let's do Bowser Crush. Oh yeah. Hit Y repeatedly. <laughs> That's such a hilarious attack animation. I can't believe that. And Mallow, go ahead and use Snowy. Because that's awesome. I don't even know if I've shown off... <laughs> There's so many things like I haven't shown off in this game. Just magic attacks in general. I think one of Peach's I haven't even shown off. It was like the sleepy time one or something. Oh, I didn't kill the crystal. Static E. No! Well, that's not like the pedal blast attack, so I'm fine with it. Oh man, my timer died. Oh, well, I don't really need a timer for this anyways. Yeah. Jeez. 
Oh no! Well, I'm glad they're doing these, like, multi-targeting attacks here, because they tend to do less damage than the single targeting attacks. Eh, well, the storm there didn't do too much. Oh, Dark Star, he didn't even do this in any of my practice runs. Of course, he has to just show off his big bad move on screen and miss while doing it, too. Uh, oh, by the way, for those who didn't catch it, this is actually a throwback to Final Fantasy. Well, not a throwback, but, like, just a little bit of a reference, because this game is made by Square, or co-made by Square, I guess. And, um, yeah, they made Final Fantasy, so why not, right? All right, Mallow, go ahead and use Snowy. Yeah, for the Earth Crystal, since it has no weaknesses, I'd just recommend using physical attacks on it, since it doesn't have the greatest physical defense anyways. Uh, oh, by the, by the psychopath quotes for these guys are, like, really funny. It's like one of them, like, the Fire Crystals, like, I have to mow the lawn or something, and it's like, what? What does that even mean? Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, no. Man, oh crap, I hate this attack. Sandstorm. Because, yeah, see right there. <laughs> it did one damage to Bowser and it killed him. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing ever. Yeah, but see, it made Mario scared, so now he's not going to do as much damage. Which is really crappy, but whatever. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, I showed you my inventory before this fight. And as you can probably tell, I did sell all my like recovery mushrooms and my flower and like my flower point, point restores, like the royal syrups and everything. Uh, that was to make room for the pick me ups since I don't have any other like insta revive things because only Peach has that. Ice rock, no. I think it would be kind of beneficial if Mario actually died right here because then that would get rid of his status ailment. Stop going after Bowser, what did he ever do to you? Uh-oh. Water Blast! Reminds me of your Ritovich. What? You killed Bowser! Again! <laughs> wow, that was deadly. And you missed. Oh, I missed! Okay, Mario, just go ahead and use your Super Flame again. Because that's really about the best you can do at this point. And even this isn't that great since it's going to be not as powerful. Man, I am just so giddy today, and I have no idea why. Um, Mallow? Sh sure, pick me up. I was debating on whether used to pick use a pick me up or a cure cure coal. I figured that it was probably better to have three of us alive than two fully healed. Oh no, flame wall! The background to the battle is really cool, though. It's just like a bunch of stars like clustered together. It's like a, it's like the wor it's like a world map made out of stars though. Oh, Dark Star again, really? Miss, miss, miss! Damn it! What? Oh, oh that, that's Dark Star for you from Culex. Wow. All right, Mario, go ahead for your Super Flame again. Did I just call it a Super Flame? I don't know. Oh, I'm mad with power. Jeez, I want that Water Crystal to just die. Man, we're going to be out of pick me up soon enough. Bowser, you need to stop dying right about quick. Uh, yeah, but that background is just, like, so cool. It's like a bunch of, like, the continents made of stars, and then, like, a bunch of all a bunch of scattered stars that make up, like, islands in the ocean or something. It's kind of cool. Whoa! 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 Okay. Oh, thanks for doing Shredder, at least. That doesn't hurt anyone. I think Shredder just, like, uh... D boosts your stats if you boost them. Alright, Bowser. No, we're gonna have him use a Kira Kira Cola, actually. I'm trying to avoid using red essences in this fight since it makes it super cheap. <laughs> I love how the Kira Kira Cola animation went over Mario even though he's dead. <sighs> Can't move your finger. You're dead! I haven't seen that movie in such a long time. Oh, one of the interesting things to note, too, is that Culex is the only enemy in this game that doesn't have, like, his sprite. Doesn't actually move. Uh, I don't really know how to describe that, but its sprite doesn't move within itself. Because you know how, like, when the Goombas were, like... <laughs> I'm just saying the Goombas because that's, like, the most obvious example since it's a prime enemy. But, like, the Goombas, they would... As they were just standing there not attacking or anything, they would just kind of move their feet up and down and open their mouths or whatever. 
And would that crystal just die already? But Culex, he doesn't do that. He just kind of bops up and down. It's like a sprite just moving, just a non-moving sprite. I guess it, yeah, I guess it's just like one sprite moving up and down. That's the way, best way to describe it, really. And it's the only enemy in the game that's like that, I think. I'm pretty sure. Well, and him and the crystals, obviously. And I'm pretty sure that's also just referencing Final Fantasy, because the monsters don't really move in those games either, in, like, the early games. Alright, Mega Drain. Someone told me in the comments, I think, I don't remember, because it was so freaking long ago, it was, like, months ago, that Mega Drain actually restores the enemy's HP, and he just killed Bowser again. Wow. Bowser! You, you make, himself to be up, make himself up to be so big and bad, and then this... It's just ridiculous, man. So, donk! Uh, what was I saying? I was saying something. Oh, I killed the water crystal! Yay! Mallow, just go ahead. I'm like, no, revive. <laughs> revive Bowser, duh. It's about to use Snowy. Jeez. Oh, Corona. This is actually a really deadly attack, this Corona thing. I'm not surprised. Because Corona, you know. I was trying to make some kind of reference there, I don't know. I couldn't decide between referencing Corona Mountain and Super Mario or Sunshine or referencing the Corona Beer. Either one would work, really. Oh my god, we're almost dead. Holy crap. Um Let's go ahead and have Bowser. Bowser, can you do we have any more pick me ups? Oh uh, <laughs> we're out of pick me ups, oh my god. Mario is dead for this fight. That's that's probably the worst thing that could have happened, honestly. But hey, now the two underlings of this game, they get to shine to their fullest, right? Right. So Mallow, do your thing! Uh, I still have to show off his Star Rain, too, I think. I haven't really shown that off. I think all his other attacks I have, though. Maybe I can do that next turn, the Star Rain. Wow, 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 wow. Just the Corona, it's just like a lighthouse. It's so... It's so dumb. Well, it's not dumb, it's actually pretty cool, but... I don't know, the lighthouse effect, it's like it's trying to draw you into it. Oh, please don't kill Bowser, please- No! No! <gasps> okay! <laughs> Mallow versus Culex, who will win? <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be the most epic thing ever. The tiny little puffball, Mallow, puffball prince, versus the big bringer of doom and destruction, made of matter and antimatter. Of course, Mallow is immune to, like, most of these guys' attacks, like, all the magic attacks and stuff. And that's not a magic attack, I don't think, no. Oh, crap. Oh, he missed. Thank goodness. Um, I think Mallow should be able to survive. Let's use Star Rain. It, it does attack all enemies, so... Here we go. The timing for this one, by the way, is just, like... Um, it's halfway between... You press the button halfway between when it first appears and when it's about to hit the ground, when it's like completely flat on the ground. That's really the best way I can describe it. Boom! Uh oh. Wait, this doesn't affect Mallow, does it? it? Better not, otherwise I'm screwed. Okay, thank goodness. Blast! Alright. And Shredder, oh. <laughs> That's horrible. He's shredding the dead bodies of Mario and Bowser. You can't do that. That's just dumb. Alright, I think, Mallow, it's time for you to use... I'm so tempted to use a Red Essence right now, but I'm going to resist my temptation. I'll just use some HP Rain for now. Hopefully that should heal me. Jeez. The timing for that is so weird, that HP Rain. It's just like as the cloud is a tiny little puffball above your head. And that's when you have to press it. It's so dumb. What? I thought that was a magic attack, that storm. Oh, well. Oh, my God. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Eight HP left. Um, Should I use a red essence? Oh, my goodness. No, I'm going to go ahead and use a cure, cure coal. Please give me a freebie. Give me a freebie. I could use... Yes, I could... <laughs> that was lucky. Ask and you shall receive, my friends. Jeez, I, I'm kind of optimistic here, be, to be honest with you. I'm thinking maybe I can pull this off. If he, if he doesn't do that again. <laughs> but that's a big if. Um, 
You know what? Screw it. I haven't even shown this off in the game. Red Essence, go. And we become Super Mallow now. Yes. Now basically nothing can touch us. We are pretty much immune to everything. Look at that. Zero damage. Well, I think that would have done zero damage anyway. This is actually a physical attack, so it would actually hurt Mallow, but watch. Zero damage. And Shredder wouldn't really do anything anyways. Oh, does that get rid of Red Essence? Please tell me. Okay, thank goodness. As you can see in the top, like, in the top bars where it shows your character, if you have Red Essence, then your character is flashing. It's crazy. Alright, Mallow, now you can just go all out. Go crazy. Uh, I think Red Essence usually lasts for like five turns. Four or five turns. It might be random every time, honestly. Oh, man. I have a feeling that Fire Crystal is really close to dead. Because it's been doing like... Th we've been doing like 300 damage to it every turn with that freaking Snowy. Oh, you missed. It would have done zero anyways. Meet your blast. Uh, I swear to though, I've seen like actual attacks do one or two damage with the Red Essence on. So I'm not sure like how you would qualify that. I don't know. Maybe I was just... Maybe I was just high or something when I was seeing that, but I don't know. I think maybe Dark Star can do some damage to you when you have a Red Essence on, but I'm not too sure on that. Yay, zero damage. Oh, Flamestone. Culex, will you ever learn? Jeez, I wonder how much longer until his FP is depleted, because that can actually happen. Monsters have FP, and it will deplete. Man, through this whole video, you're just gonna hear my controller, like, click clack in the background. Oh, yes, the fire is dead. Awesome. Because I keep moving that control stick around for the snowy animation, or for the snowy, uh, action command. Okay, we're out of red essence now. So... Because I know Culex can kill me in one hit if I don't heal up. If he just does a physical attack, he'll kill me in one hit. I'm gonna go ahead and use a uh, Cure Cure Cola. Not a red essence, I just wanna hope I can survive this. Ooh, freebie. Awesome. It's always so cool when you get like a freebie on a on a red essence. Meteor blast. Woohoo! Six damage. Okay, so I could die in the next turn if I don't heal up. I could. Red essence. <laughs> I know this is gonna be. This is going to be like the cheapest thing ever. Oh my god, 18 minutes? Really? Jeez, I I might have to split this into two bonus videos. I'm not even sure. Well, I don't know. Culex is a pretty long fight, and I've gotten really unlucky here. Well, I was just not really re prepared. I honestly did... Like, I did a freaking practice run just before this with the same party and all the same items and everything. And I did it perfectly fine. Everyone was alive at the end. It was... It was good. It was actually good. Why didn't I record that? I don't know. I was just being dumb. That was zero. Oh, Culex, you slay me. Kinda literally. You you two-thirds slay me. Oh, boy. Let's go ahead and use a rock candy, actually. I don't know if I've shown this off either. Wee! I'm sure I have at some point. It's like the Meteor Swarm animation, pretty much. Oh, a freebie. Awesome. Monster's FP is gone. I think that was the crystal, though. Yeah, that's definitely the crystal. Oh my goodness, the monster's FP is gone. You know that you're sucking at this battle when you see that message, the monster's FP is gone. Because that just means, like, you know you spent super long on this. Okay, there's the crystal. It went down. Awesome. Alright, Culex. It's just you and me now, baby. So let's go ahead and heal on up, because I don't have my Red Essence on anymore. I'm going to try not to use a Red Essence for the rest of this fight. Provided that he doesn't, like, screw me over with a physical attack here. But he can't do 185 to Mallow with a physical attack. That would just be redonkulous. And let's see, let's see a physical attack on him. Oh, yeah. Ow. Shit. Okay. Oh, uh, you know what? If we can just keep a balance here, uh-oh. If we can just keep, like, a balance of here, here, like, so that he... Oh, my God. That was... <laughs> that was... Okay. If, if we can just, like, keep on healing off what he does to us, then we should be okay here. And if he does Shredder, that'll give us a chance to attack, too. So, if we just keep keep this up, 
we should keep on his ass, then we should be able to do this. Man. Man, I remember how I said I was giddy, like, early. Oh, now his FP is gone. Great. <laughs> well, that just made this thing ten times easier. That's no fun. Oh, well. Now we can just tear him apart. Can't do Dark Star anymore or anything. Monster's FP is gone. I wonder, does he use, like, FP for his physical attack? That wouldn't make too much sense, but... Maybe. Now we can just wither away at him. This is... T this is horrible. Man, I'm gonna have to do, like, another battle against this guy in the future where I actually beat him before his FP is gone. At least I managed to survive this far. That's always good. Star Rain, his face! Or his crotch. His icy, molten crotch. Not really molten at all. That was bad. Monster's FP is gone. Oh, I'm so embarrassed right now. It's horrible. It's so horrible. Ooh, I have another rock candy. There's one left. Maybe I can get a freebie on it? That'd be nice. Oh, no. Alright, let's just attack him. Attack him with our symbols. Slowly. Oh, my God. Okay, so he can't. He still can do that. He just wasn't doing it for whatever reason. Oh, whatever you do, you like to don't get a critical hit. Man. This is gonna take forever. I might have to speed some of this up, actually. I was kinda hoping that the battle would just finish right there when I said that, that I'd have to speed some of it up. You can't have too much more left, can he? Can he? Because I'm gonna I'm I pretty much run out of commentary already here. What else is there to talk about? There is nothing to talk about. Ugh. Except how funny Ma Mario and Bowser look there. They're just like sleeping, practically. Yeah, I've just taken so long that they just fell asleep. They didn't die. Alright, my last cure cure cola. I'm not gonna save after this battle anyways, so... Well, I might. Won't matter if I do anyways. Man, could you imagine if I still just, like, lost this battle? Oh, there we go! Yay! Finally! Oh, yeah, now these guys get up. Wait. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, I gotta say. The Final Fantasy victory theme. And 244 experience. Yep, that doesn't matter to me, though, because I'm already max level. Here we go. Ah! Your spirit is strong! Thank you, brave knight! I will treasure this memento of my journey here. Perhaps in another time, another game, we may have been mortal enemies. As part as comrades in arms. Take this. Treasure it as a keepsake of our fight. And you get the quartz charm. Farewell, champion knight. And he dies. And now, as you can see, the door is gone. You can only fight him once. And after you save, after you've beaten him, that's it. You can never fight him again. Anyways, this quartz charm that he gave us here, I'll explain it really quick, because I kind of just want to end this off. My throat hurts. It's a shining source of power. It's actually a pretty good uh, um, accessory. I don't think it's as good as pretty much anything we have on Mario, Mallow, or Bowser right now. But, it does have some side effects that I can't remember right now. I think it prevents instant death. It, uh, increases defense and offense. And so, I don't know. It's crazy. I might have to put an annotation or something just to explain it. But, that's that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this horrible fight against Kulex. The f It started out rather well, and then I ran out of pick-me-ups, of course. So, that's it. Thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night. Oh my god, that was... <laughs> that was the worst thing ever. Am I really gonna post that?